Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, cut out a segment from a DVD and use that segment in DVD Styler. I've started uh, DVD Styler here and uh, my video format is PAL and I OK that. I don't want any template so... And to use a DVD I set the DVD ads titles from DVD like that. And here I have the DVD I want to use. I highlight its uh, video underscore TS folder and select that. Now this DVD contains uh, four episodes of a TV, TV show uh, and you'll notice that uh, they are designated title set 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's because each episode is placed in its own title set. That is not always the case so I'll cancel that and have a look at another case where each episode from my DVD is actually placed in the same title set. I've got one here, here. And now you'll notice it says title set 1. It has an episode here, 45 minutes. But I know there should be Four, four episodes actually, and it's the limitation in DVD styler. If there are more than one title, that is uh, video or episodes in a title set, it can only handle the first. So if if you know you have episodes on a DVD, there should be four episodes, and you present it with something like this you cannot use it. It's the limitation. I'll cancel that because what I really want to use is uh, is a movie I have here. Uh, it's in its own title set and it's in NTSC format. So I'm presented with the option to change my project setting to uh, NTSC and I say yes to that. And since there is only one title set, there's only one title in it, I it's just added down here in the title set manager. Now I double click on my title one here to get its property. It looks like this. You see it's a movie, one hour and th 38 seconds. It says copy here for the video part and it does as well for the audio because it's already from a DVD and it can be used as it is. For the video, next to the video there are three dots here. If I double click on that, I get my video property. And it, it is here I can make a cut out a segment. I can choose where to position my, to make my position in the movie or video, either by using the slider here or those arrows down here. The inner arrow steps one second at a time. The outer arrow steps a frame at a time. And when I get to the position I want, I can make my cut my beginning. I could OK and I'll get the rest of the, the movie in as a segment. Probably there will be some credits in the end. Oh. Here, yeah, I'll cut it there. OK, so now I am, have made a segment I can use. I OK that. Now, I have
have my em empty menu here, and I, what I could do is uh, have a button on that, and when I OK that button, it'll start playing uh, my title one, that is the segment I've just defined. What I also could do is uh, double click on the menu to get its property, and then I could use a pre command. That is a command that is uh, carried out before I reach the menu. And I'll have that uh, jump to my segment, my title one. If I double click on my title one, my segment, it has a post command down here. What to do when I have played that segment. And what I want to do is merely to exit. So I simply bypass my menu. Before I reach the menu, I start playing, and when I play that uh, bit, I'll just exit. And that's how you make segments from a, from a DVD and DVD styler. I could burn it now if that's what I want. I prefer to create an, an ISO image so I can test it before I actually burn it. So. I locate that, start, and that's basically it, and uh, yeah, bye.